When people start talking about tablets replacing computers, it's only a matter of time before we all start talking about cars and trucks. That's because of something Steve Jobs said back in 2010 when he was trying to describe the post-PC world. You see, back in the day, the best way to get on the internet, the only way to get on the internet, was to buy a computer. So everybody bought a computer because the internet is awesome. But these days, smartphones and tablets do that job as well, if not better, than the personal computer. And that leaves the personal computer in this strange position where it's becoming a specialty tool only for the people who really need to use it. Now, it's worth going back to what Steve Jobs actually said in 2010, because quite frankly, what we remember is not quite what he said. When we were an agrarian nation, all cars were trucks, because that's what you needed on the farm. But as, car, as vehicles started to be used in the urban centers, and America started to move into those urban and then suburban centers, cars got more popular. And innovations like automatic transmission and power steering and things that you didn't care about in a truck as much uh, started to become paramount in cars. This isn't really true. In 1908, Ford began selling the Model T, the first truly mass market vehicle, and it was a car. Still, Steve Jobs makes a fantastic point here about how consumer demand shapes product design. Through the years, car designs have evolved to make things much more comfortable for the people who buy them. Can you believe cars didn't used to have cup holders? PCs are going to be like trucks. They're still going to be around. They're still going to have a lot of value, but they're going to be used by one out of X people. In other words, PCs will be a niche technology while the majority of people will gravitate to smartphones and tablets. And this transformation is going to make some people uneasy. People from the PC world, like you and me. It's going to make us uneasy. And we like to talk about the post-PC era, but when it really starts to happen, I think it's uncomfortable for a lot of people and because it's change and a lot of vested interests are gonna change and it's gonna be different. Now this may be the most interesting thing out of everything Steve Jobs said, because it's about how people who were born and raised in the PC era, people like me, are going to be increasingly uncomfortable with the changes in the post-PC era. When Steve Jobs says vested interests are going to change, it makes me think of the concerns professional Mac users have had since the new MacBook Pros came out. It was once Apple's vested interest to cater to the professional computer market. Is it now? If tablets are cars and Macs are trucks, how can you explain Apple's design of the 2015 MacBook and 2016 MacBook Pro? These are optimized for lightness and thinness, not processor power. A MacBook Pro that trades more memory and a more powerful graphics card for thinness and lightness sounds an awful lot like a car to me. So maybe it's a mistake to think that Macs are trucks. Maybe today's Macs are more like SUVs. They're more expensive and better appointed cars. It's a category that's just as popular as the car, and it's way more popular than the pickup truck. If Apple decides the largest market for Macs is the SUV market, people who want to buy a computer but don't really need to be professional grade, where does that leave the harder core Pro users? If you've been driving a Ford all your life, will you switch to a Chevy? Or will you drive a Ford SUV and learn to live without the truck bed? So I think that we're embarked on that. Is it the iPad? Who knows? Will it happen next year or five years from now or seven years from now? Who knows? So here we are, six years later, and PC sales are down. But so are tablet sales. Meanwhile, smartphone sales are in the stratosphere. So what does that mean? Maybe the smartphone is the car after all. Maybe the smartphone is the general purpose computing device that everybody's going to own and use to happily get on the internet. So what's the truck of tomorrow? Will it be the personal computer, as Steve Jobs suggested? Will it be the tablet? Will it be some merged combination of the two? And if you're somebody who loves Apple products, you have to ask yourself, will Apple stay in the business of making trucks? Or will it be too focused on the bigger business of making cars for the masses? Just as Steve Jobs suggested back in 2010, it's change and it's gonna be different and it's gonna make all of us uneasy.